Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am just a regular dude walking in the Word. Today I want to talk to you. Um, we're going to be reading from Mark, Matthew um, 11, verses 2 through 6. And this is where it's sometimes the New Testament doesn't make sense unless you know the Old Testament. Okay, you're going to see an exchange of words today. And you're like, what in the world are they talking about? But when you understand the Old Testament and you go back to one of those passages, which I'll show you, um, it's going to make sense. You're like, oh, okay, well, this makes sense now. Let's read today, if you have your Bibles, which I do, um, uh, from Matthew 11, verses 2 through 6. It says this, When John, who was in prison, heard about the deeds of the Messiah, he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who is to come? Or should we expect someone else? Um, so anyway, uh, John is in prison now, and he's wondering, is Jesus going to free me from prison? Because he's thinking, this is the Messiah, the all-powerful one, and like, what am I in here waiting for? Okay. Verse 4, Jesus replied, go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is anyone who does not stumble on account of me. So John is asking, are you the, basically, are you the Messiah? You know, are you the one to come? And then Jesus gives this answer that it, it says, go back and report what you've seen. You, you've seen um, the blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised. And good news is proclaimed to the poor. And you're like, well, why didn't Jesus just answer the question that I am the Messiah? Well, let me take you all the way back to Isaiah 35, verses 4 through 6. Isaiah 35, 4 through 6. It says this. This is Isaiah prophesying about the soon coming Messiah. Well, not soon coming then, but the Messiah that was coming. Verse 4 chapter 35 of Isaiah says say to those who with fearful hearts be strong do not fear your God will come he will come with vengeance with divine retribution he will come to save you well, he will come to save us okay good now listen to this then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped the lame man will leap like a deer and the mute tongue will shout for joy Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Okay, so you just saw what I read there. Um, those There's like four things. that, And Isaiah is talking about the soon coming Messiah. And John the Baptist knew that scripture. Jesus knew that scripture. So he's saying, look, this is what Isaiah said was, um, is going to be the, the Messiah. And I am fulfilling those things. So, yes, I'm the Messiah. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. I, uh, John, or Jesus was just going back to the Old Testament and telling how he's fulfilling that scripture. Okay, there's two other things that happen in that, that scripture that Jesus doesn't fulfill then. Um, he will fulfill in the future uh, when he comes um, the second time, the second coming. Uh, so anyway, you have to understand uh, there's people today that will go, Oh, yeah, you don't need the Old Testament. Just focus on the New Testament. No, you need the whole Bible to understand what the New Testament says. Okay. For example, Jesus says, I came to, you know, to set you free from sin. Well, where did that sin come from? You need to understand all the way going back to creation about sin and how, um, you know, the fall of man and so forth. Okay. The whole Bible needs to be understood. Okay. You need to. So that's that's the bottom line. Don't throw out the Old Testament. And that's what different people have done today. Is they're like, ah, no, we don't need the Old Testament anymore. We'll just focus on the New Testament. No, you need both. Okay? So I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as we go through Matthew. Lord's blessing. See you then.